Here is <coughs> Al Ghori Caravanserai or Sultan Al Ghori Caravansary. The location it's behind Al Azhar Mosque in Al Ghoriya Quarter. This building was constructed in 909 after Hijri, 1504 AD. That means at the beginning of the 16th century AD. This caravansary was constructed by Sultan al Wuri, who was born in 1446 AD and ruled Egypt from 1501 till 1516. Here is the, uh, the entrance, the main entrance of the caravansary, which has the uh, flat arch, the uh, trifold arch at the top of it, which has stalactites. like you see leads to the vestibule which has a roof with tunnel or a, which has a roof with the tunnel vault here is the sign which show the um, pre points about the construction of this caravansary which was made by the inspectors or the researcher who we are walking inside this building following the Supreme Council of Antiquities. At the end of the vestibule, the passageway, on either sides, there is a staircase or the stairs which we are uh, leading to the uh, fittest floor. Here, like you see, here to the right side, you can see the stair which leads to this second floor, or the first floor, <coughs> and the second floor. Here is the second stair which leads also to the first floor. We can see the big court or the courtyard, which is in the middle, <coughs> which is called Sahn or the open court in the middle. Its function that to provide the uh, ventilation and the lighting to the entire building, to see the sun from all the windows, and also to smell the fresh air. On the sides of the open court, you can see the wax, which has the store rooms, the storages, with vaulted roofs to store uh, goods, uh, merchandise, which wear like clothes, fabrics, carpets, that, uh, which were brought by the uh, merchants. Here also can see the two ranks of uh, Sultan al Ghuri with his name and uh, his titles, ranks uh, as the ruler of Egypt and pray for him to have glory and victory, Sultan al Ghuri Azza Nasro, or to be a glorious and a victorious Sultan or king. So the rank has the name and the supplication or invocation to the king to have victory and glory. In the middle of the, of the court, you can see the fountain as a source of ventilation. Originally, there was a small mosque or zawiya for the people to do prayer, and the merchants to do their prayers inside without going outside the, the uh, caravanserai and the, this fountain was used also for air pollution here you can see the windows at the top all 
so much overlooking the open court to enter the sunlight, the sunlight and the ventilation to the uh, rooms at the top. the balustrade from wood also to hang all the goods on it while they were displaying it for the people here is the windows mashrabe is at the top together upstairs to see the second floor. Oh, it's very high steps. We very strong people at that time, maybe. Over there, the second stair from wood, which leads also to the uh, villas at the th uh, third floor. Here is the second floor of this caravanserai has also, which has the uh, two rooms as well. All these rooms surrounded by the corridors in the three sides. It's function originally. We do display goods like carpets, curtains, fabrics. So we needed that the ground and the first floor of the caravanserai have. 56 stories. This is the third floor. The third floor has the residence units, villas for the traders, merchants, and the, the, the units for to live inside and their wives win a nine units. Each one consists of three levels. The first level was used as a reception for the merchants and their guests. The second level, the middle level of uh, this villa, each villa was used as an annex for the services like kitchen, bathrooms and storage. The third level was used as a residence unit for the traders and their wives. Here is the open court from the top. Some of these villas overlooking the courtyard like you see, and this, the others overlooking the street from outside. And the, there is a separate entrance from the street leads to those villas. Please come to visit this place and see the beauty of Egypt. Here we are for the first time that we are going to go inside one of these villas which is dedicated to the merchants. We are coming from Syria, Lebanon. see which is has the reception for the guests of those merchants and the room which is overlooking the courtyard and the fountain in the middle Together with these windows, like you see from wood.
This is the stair, which leads to the hidden level or the secret level because it has no windows overlooking the courtyard. It is in the middle between the first floor and the third floor, which is related to the servants and the storerooms, the kitchen, the bathroom. It's overlooking the, the annex or the, the second small courtyard. Here is the stairs which is leading to the third floor, which is the room dedicated to the merchant and his wife. It's overlooking the courtyard with the Mashrabeya also. Which is the fine wooden network. Like you see, it's overlooking the courtyards with the very amazing view. Just please come to visit and explore the Egyptian civilization.